what I want to touch on right now, and it's something that's come to light to me before, but it's, it's become even more of a focus to me now, and I understand that this is the way that it is going to have to be. Like I said, we have already entered uh, the age of tribulation. It's already happened. There is no more time left to prepare for this. It is upon us. Now, I understand that if you have even bothered to look at the previous two videos, I understand it's taken at least half an hour. Um, that you yourself are probably going insane at this very moment. You're starting to enter the realm of insanity, uh, i.e. saving yourself so that you can live eternal life. At the same time, you probably have family who you love and adore, and you want the same for them. You want them to have eternal life. You want them to realize that this world is not worth uh, clinging to in any way. Um, and you want them to be able to save themselves so that they too can enter a heaven that you've been promised. Now, a lot of these people, you're going to experience most of these people, almost every single one of these people, if not every single one of these people that you know in your family will refuse you. They will refuse the lifesaver that you're trying to give them in order to help them. Like I say, it's kind of like a metaphor would be that you're in a boat and the boat is headed for eternal life and splendor and glory. And they're on the outside of the boat and they're drowning right now. You want to toss them a lifesaver and say, hey, listen, I know that this world is trying to preach to you that you want to go to hell and burn forever and ever. And what? And it's gonna be it's not gonna be as bad as you think. But here's the thing, yes, it is gonna be as bad as you think. You need to hop in this boat and go to heaven because I mean it's just a good idea. So you keep throwing them this lifesaver, you keep throwing them this lifesaver. And what they do is they smack it away and they say, No, 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 I don't wanna get into that boat. That boat's too difficult. That boat's a trap and it's a trick. And eternal life, no. Nah, I mean, I want to burn. I want to burn and burn. I want to drown and burn. Let me drown and burn. And you keep saying to them, no, please. It is not worth it. It's just not worth it to drown and then burn and burn for all eternity. You need to take this lifesaver. You need to get in this boat. And you keep making attempts to do so. And you keep chasing them with the promise of heaven, hoping that they will take it one day. Uh, like I said, we are already into tribulation. There is no more time left. So what I want to stress to you and what I've just come to realize 100% recently is that there is no time left. You are, in fact, wasting your time by doing this. I know that you love these people. I know if you could do anything, you would have them get in this boat with you. I know this, but the thing is, like I say, you are wasting your time. And meanwhile, there are people uh, scattered around in this ocean that you're in who, they might not be your family. They might be in a very lowly place, in a desperate place, but at least if you were to throw them a lifesaver, they might not have a boat themselves, but at least if you throw them a lifesaver, they will grab it knowing that gosh dang, where they're at just is not a good place that they too want a chance at eternal life. Now, there's no other boats around to save them. What you're gonna have to do, as terrible and as hard as this is gonna sound, is you need to abandon the people who are slapping away your lifesaver. You're gonna have to do it, friends, family included, especially then. You're gonna have to abandon them because there's no more time. In order for the people who want to be saved, who are drowning right now, uh, in order for you to have time to go ahead and save them, you need to abandon those who are slapping away your lifesaver. It's imperative. It's imperative. A verse that kind of explains this right now, the way to put it simply is that you cannot love anybody. You cannot love, a human is not capable of love. Period. Uh, unless, of course, they love Jesus more. Their love for Jesus, uh, when they love Jesus most of all, 
that actually will give them the capabilities of loving for real a human being for, to, for your love to actually be significant and worth anything, you do have to recognize that you love Jesus more. Or at least you have to have him in your heart. Maybe you're not a Christian, but you realize that there's a higher power and you need to have love for this higher power even more in order for your love to mean anything. As stated right here, as we, if we go to Matthew chapter 10, uh, verse 37, it goes like this. Whoever loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it, will be pulled into that boat, and will be taken to eternal life. Now that being said, like I alluded to earlier, um, my, my baby, she's about to turn five years old, has been hidden from me, has been taken from me. I did not blame her mother at all. Uh, I will never blame anyone except for Satan. The thing is, I could drop everything I'm doing right now, drop my Christianity, drop, uh, uh, just completely forget about everything and track her down and stalk her, stalk my baby. Uh, kind of like the father and kindergarten cop. And I could do that. Because, quite honestly, I love my baby um, more than any other human being on this earth and will ever love any human being on this earth. That is a fact. But the thing is, my love for her would be absolutely worthless. It would mean nothing if I didn't pursue my love for for Jesus, if I didn't pursue my autism and I didn't pursue the impending insanity that lay before me, and I recognize this. So instead of doing uh, all that, and instead of stalking my daughter and somehow tracking her down like an animal, instead diving into Jesus. I'm abandoning family and friends for those who desperately want to be saved. Um, and the reason for this is they will bring you down with them. Like I said, they don't want to be saved. They'd rather, they'd much rather, instead of getting in the boat, they'd rather pull you into the ocean with them to drown and burn. Now, do they do it maliciously? No, they do it out of confusion. But it really doesn't make it any better, is the problem. And the thing is, this was mentioned just actually a few uh, verses before the, the passage that I just read, in which Jesus states that, um, let's see, let, let's start on uh, chapter, what's it, chapter 10, let's start chapter 10, verse 20 of Matthew, for it will not be you who speak, oh, well, I mean, that's actually part of uh, let me start on uh, verse 21, chapter 10. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The thing is, you're going to see this in countless occasions now. We are in the tribulation. As absurd as that sounds, Brother will hand over brother, just like in the Civil War of the United States. Uh, brother will hand over brother. You will send out a, a lifesaver, and they will pull you into the ocean with them, simply out of confusion, simply out of not knowing any better. And so this is yet another risk that you will incur by trying to give lifesavers now to those who do not want it. I have to beg you. Please don't do it. There is not enough time. As much as I want to do it, as much as I want to send a lifesaver to my wife, to my brothers, to uh, my parents, many of them and most of them have indeed swatted it away. Said, no, no, no. I don't want to be saved. In fact, I'm about to grab and pull you in with me. 
It'll be better in the water than it is in, the, in that boat. That boat's a trap. I don't know why, but I have been programmed to think that it's a trap. And that's exactly what will happen. You need to abandon it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up so as not to take too much of your time now. Um, to sum it all up, you're going to go ahead and follow me from here on out. You need to realize that I'm going insane. But if you're going to even dive even just a little bit into the references that I'm about to give to you, you as well are going to go insane. You will be in, in prison, you will be persecuted, you will be tortured, you will be crucified, you will be all sorts of things. You will be handed up by your brother, your mother, your children, uh, all sorts of your friends to death. Um, simply because they will be terrified of the so-called authorities who are making God illegal, who are making Christianity illegal. And mind you, you might want to say, well, Christianity is kind of confusing you or whatnot. You, you, you're diving into a cult of Jesus. You'll notice that many of the reference videos that I'll give to you are being made by people who aren't even Christian. Who didn't ask Christianity anyways. It'll come from all sorts of angles as proof to you that it is time to go insane. It is time to be insane. What are, and by no means do I mean to become violent. By no means do I mean to fill a, a Dylan Storm roof or whatever. That is exactly the opposite. I mean to be peaceful on an earth that is more than backwards. That will offer you up to death to accept death. And in fact, be anxious towards death. Because what it will mean is a ticket off of this um, absurd existence into eternal life. And also, uh, I do want to stress once again, to sum up and conclude this video, uh, while you are going insane, while I am going insane, while we are going insane together and pretty much reaching complete and total autism, uh, you will also need you need to abandon your family and your friends. That's not to say you need to shut them out of your life, but you need to abandon trying to save them. They do not want to be saved. You need to save those who want to be saved because, like I say, we have no time left. This is the tribulation. There is no time left. You need to be productive. Pretty soon we're going to have to run from city to city and everything that we will do will be made illegal and will be um, looked upon as insane, insanity, like I said. These times are coming sooner than later. We're not talking about 20 years from now. We're not talking about um, laughably 50 years, 100 years from now. We're talking within this year. We are in the tribulation. This is not a game anymore. Anyways... Uh, that's enough for me today. This is well over the time allotted. Usually I'm going to make videos uh, that are just 15 minutes long because I know time is of the essence. So, um, that's what it is. That will be the first video, the very last series of videos that I will ever make on this earth. This is June 28th, 2015. God bless you. God has already blessed this land. We are now in tribulation. Now is the time to act. I believe in you. Jesus believes in you. Let's go insane. Let's become fully autistic. Let's jump into this boat that will lead us to eternal life. Now is the time, brothers and sisters. There is no time left.